think like when you're a musician and you play music, there can be times where you, something clicks and you realize that you need to follow this route or you need to keep, keep this part or develop it. When something happens in such a clear way like that, um, it just gives you great momentum. A lot of the time it, uh, it has been just the three of us jamming right here together in this room. We just happened to meet at the right time where we were all starting to like realise that there was a whole world of music out there. It wouldn't have been something that would have related to other people about so much and then we found each other and it was like, okay, there are other people. So we came here and we practiced and like, we, we kind of developed our music taste together. A manager from Dublin like stumbled across, across our SoundCloud and he um, kind of managed to generate this hype between the labels and within a few months of meeting him, we had signed a contract. Brendan was still in secondary school, he was doing his leave insert and I had just started college. We hadn't even played gigs, like it, it was weird, yeah. <laughs> I felt I, I was a bit kind of too young for the whole, the whole thing happening that, that speed. We were developing our music and we could have like just continued developing it but we were kind of pulled away from where we were at and plunged into this kind of alienating world and you know 95% of the time in that world things just don't fly. In the end it was a lot of unfulfilled promises and a lot of letdowns and over a lot of years we didn't get to release half as much music as we would have wanted to. Without stuff being released, it's hard to keep creating. It kind of resulted in a few years of just real frustration. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not until you live through that, that you really know. For us, it was time to just take control of things ourselves. The best part of it was realizing that we didn't need it. When I compared the experience of being on a label to the creative scene in Limerick, like coming on loads, that definitely changed my life for the better. It's really, really inspiring, I have to say, and to have this kind of community of people you know, it just makes it so that you don't feel like you're just shouting into a void. I think it was the part that we were missing at the start and now having gone through the ringer and finding it afterwards, it's like, oh, this is the part that like was missing from it all along. For the most recent album, there's been times where songs came together kind of quickly, so I feel like maybe how we approach it has changed over time as well. But just the creative process, like, is, is a huge thing. Like, if we come in here and play music, like, that's the music. That's valid. It doesn't have to be uh, on the album and bought for 20 euro for it to be the thing. It's something that's more free-flowing. Personally, I feel like learning that just, you know, kiss the joy as it flies kind of thing a bit more rather than trying to have control of every little thing. Mm -hmm. 